Reading the Bible with Loke. Alright, I'm going to get us started in 2 Chronicles 1. Alright. Here we go. Solomon, the son of David, established himself securely over his kingdom. And the Lord his God was with him and made him exceedingly great. Solomon spoke to all Israel, to the commanders of thousands and hundreds, and to the judges. These are like flashes of rain, man, which is crazy. Um, and to every leader in all Israel, the heads of the father's household. Then Solomon, all the assembly went to the high place at Gibeon to offer sacrifices where the Canaanites had habitually worshipped. For God's tent of meeting was there, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, had made in the wilderness. But David had brought up the ark of God from Kiriath to the place he had prepared for it because he had pitched a tent for it in Jerusalem. Now the bronze star altar, which Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, had made was there before the tabernacle of the Lord and Solomon and the assembly sought it out. Okay. And Solomon went up to the bronze altar before the Lord at the tent of the tent of meeting and offered a thousand burnt offers on it. That night God appeared to Solomon and said to him, Ask, what shall I give to you? How many, how many things he burnt? A thousand. <laughs> okay. But see, the Lord was already with Solomon. Okay. <laughs> then Solomon said to God, You have shown great love kindness. It's like a soul trade, music soul train, music soul child track. And mercy to my father David, and made me king in his place. Now your promise to my father David is fulfilled. For you have made me king over a people as numerous as the dust on earth. Give me wisdom and knowledge. So that I may go out and come in. Before this people. Otherwise, who can rule and administer justice to the great people of yours? God replied, because this was in your heart. And you did not ask for riches. Hmm. Possessions or honor or personal glory or the life of those who hate you. Why would you want their life? Nor have you even asked for a long life. But you have asked for wisdom and knowledge for yourself. That you may rule and administer justice to my people over whom, it, whom I have made you king. So you didn't ask for a raise. You asked, was it okay that I go take those extra classes, if I can sign up for those extra courses, 
You didn't ask for no raise. Was it okay if he worked overtime? As you came in early, was that okay? Hmm. Wisdom and knowledge have been granted. Plus, you give you everything else you ain't asked for. Riches, possessions, all like that deal. Such as none of the kings who were before you had possessed, nor will those come after you. So Solomon went from the high place at Gibeon, from the tent of meeting, to Jerusalem, and he reigned over Israel. Solomon acquired chariots and horsemen. He had 1,400 chariots, 12,000 horsemen, and he stationed them in the cities. The king made silver and gold as plentiful and common in Jerusalem as stones. And he made cedar as plentiful as sycamore, fig trees in the lowland. Solomon horses were imported from Egypt in Q. <laughs> we know about them imported, don't we? Yeah. Even back then, they was getting them from somewhere else. All right, the king's merchants purchased them in large numbers. Mm. And they imported chariots from Egypt for 600 shekels of silver apiece and horses for 150 apiece. And in the same way, they exported horses to all the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Armenians. I, I feel like, okay. Now, Solomon decided to build a house for the name of the Lord and a royal palace for himself. All right, I'm curious to see where this is going. So Solomon assigned 70,000 men to carry loads. Eighty thousand men to quarry stone in the mountains. Uh to quarry, to build, to replenish. <laughs> What's that mean? A rich source, an open excavation, usually for obtaining building. Stone, slate, or limestone. Okay. Okay. And 36 to supervise them. Then Solomon sent word to Hiram, king of Tai, Tari, saying, As you dealt with my father, David, and sent him cedars to build himself a house in which to live, do the same for me. Look out. Uh, observe, I'm about to build a house for the name of the Lord my God, dedicated to him to burn fragrant incense. To set out the showbread continually. And to offer burnt offerings morning and evenings on the Sabbaths. New moons and on the festivals of the Lord our God as it ordained forever in Israel. The house I am going to build will be great, for our God is greater than all gods. But who is able to build a house for him? Since the heavens and even the highest heavens cannot contain him. Who am I to build a house for him? Except as a place to burn incense. I feel you. We, feel, we felt that. Now, send me a man who was skilled to work in gold, silver, bronze, and iron, and in purple, crimson, and blue fabrics, and who knows how to make engravings to work with the skilled men who were with me, who are with me in Judah and Jerusalem, whom my father David provided. Send me also cedar, cypress, algum, timber. I don't know what algum is, but I feel like I got a real good idea. For I know that your servants know how to cut timber in Lebanon, 
And indeed, my servants will work with your servants without a problem. We ain't going to have that. So prepare for me an abundance of timber because the house I am about to build will be great and wonderful. And I will give to your servants who cut timber 20,000 measures of crushed wheat and 20,000 measures of barley, 20,000 baths of wine. That's a lot of wine, man. <laughs> Uh, a bathtub of wine. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all know what I gotta do? Cut some timber? <laughs> Alright. Then Hiram, king of Tyree, replied in a letter. Because the Lord loves his people, he has made you king over them. Hiram also said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who made heaven and earth, who has given King David a wise son, endowed with discretion and understanding, who will build a house for the Lord and a royal palace for himself. I mean, he could have just kept it short of thanks, but he get a little extra. And he told you I'm sending the best. Endowed with understanding, who run by. The son of a Danite woman who is Tyrian and a Tyrian father. He is trained, he is trained to work in gold, silver, bronze, iron, stone, and wood, in purple, in blue, crimson fabrics, fine linen, any kind of engraving. He will work with your skilled men and those of my Lord, David, your father. Oh, all right, we'll stop right there. Well, no, we're almost done with the, the whole second. Okay. Now then, let my Lord send to his servants the wheat, the barley, the oil, and the wine. What we're talking about. We will cut whatever timber you need from Lebanon and bring it to you on rafts by sea to Joppa so that you may take it up to Jerusalem. Then Solomon took account of all the aliens in the land of Israel. Oh, like the census that his father David had taken. And they were found to be 153,600. He assigned 70,000 of them to carry loads and 80,000 to the quarry stone in the mountain and 3,600 as overseers to make the people work. All right, that's the end of two. So we'll start back with three tomorrow. Reading the Bible with Lope. Thank you, guys. See you next time.